Well, looks like a fun and tasty event. And just like every end of the week, we're going to enjoy the story of the best wineries with ILTV's Wine of the Week. And for this week's wine pick, we're focusing on LV Wines from Spain. LV Wines is a family-owned company which produces and markets high-quality kosher wines and kosher sparkling wines. LV is one of the few families that since 1492 has dedicated themselves to viticulture and the production of kosher wines and cava in a total of six regions in Spain. LV Wines owns two fully kosher wineries and vineyards in Clos Mesora and La Saltadora, and other four regions are a partnership between the Cohen Alita family and local families in each region. The wines are produced with the utmost vigilance and LV cooperates with only sellers who honor the kosher project at the highest standards at each step of winemaking. And so joining us now in the studio is David Cohen, Export Manager of LV Wines. Thank you for joining us. Thank you for having me. So what is this week's Wine of the Week? So as you said, we're a family company and we're based in Spain. We live in Barcelona and uh, I'm the second generation. My parents started over 20 years ago. And as of uh, today, uh, we, as you said, produce wine in six different regions in Spain. Um, two of those uh, fully kosher wineries uh, belong to ours and the other a partnership with local families. And as of now, we could say that we are uh, maybe the first Jewish family to produce kosher wine in Spain since the time of the Inquisition 500 years ago. Incredible. And what have you brought with you today? So today we've brought a uh, wine that's uh, also our flagship wine and the one that's closest to our heart because we have a huge uh, range of uh, wines that we make all over Spain. Mm -hmm. But this one, uh, actually our co company is called LV Wines, but you cannot see our logo anywhere here, just family, Familia Coenareta, which is our family name. And it's actually, uh, this one is the one we have fun with. This is the wine we literally put our boots on, go to the field. I'm the one in charge of driving the tractor around when har harvest time. My sister, who's going to be a winemaker in a month when she's graduating, she's also taking part. That's our fun wine where we actually get our hands dirty. We like to work with it. Of course, we have a beautiful team that helps us, not only with this one, but all the others. But this one is our personal fun project, which also our family vacation home happens to be there at the winery. So it's best of both worlds. I mean, it's incredible because, you know, it's truly a family business. You, your sister, your parents. And since 1492, tell me a little bit more about that history. So my dad was born in Casablanca, Morocco, because he's, uh, well, our family got expelled uh, back in time in 1492. And after many years, actually, it's uh, curious because my grandparents, even when they were married and their ketubah was written according to the laws of Spain, of Castilla-La Mancha, even in Morocco. And uh, my dad came here to study in Israel in Tejnion, uh, agriculture engineering. And he came to Spain after many years of being consultant and how to grow grapes and minimize water, uh, water um, usage and maximizing the yield. After some years, they said with my mom, they said, let's start making kosher wine. And little by little, they started 20 something years ago. So I kind of grew into it. A lot of people ask me, how much have you been into wine? Well, I'm 26, so not that old, but I kind of say I've been 26 years involved in wine because that's what we live, that's what we breathe, that's what we are, we're a wine family. Incredible. And, you know, I'm curious, what does the process look like uh, for making kosher wine in Europe? Because, you know, in Israel, uh, many wineries are, of course, used to this, but it, in Europe, it's a little bit different. So can you walk us through the process a little bit? Sure. It's very different when we are in our own two kosher wineries in Clos Masora and La Saltadora. We make Clos Masora and EL26, where it's fully kosher and it's easier for us to control. But in the other places, we've been lucky enough to have a great partnership with all the local families where we produce wine in other regions, such as Rioja, La Mancha, and others. And there, we bring mashgichim from Barcelona. We send them over there. And of course, like inside the winery, we have, uh, like it's closed, and we have our own facilities in there. So that actually the rabbi, when it goes, everything, of course, is sealed, and only can be, of course, uh, used and touched by the rabbi. And we have a very strict process, everything controlled. My dad installed all the systems that we can control. From, a, from, a, from distance and we have a very uh, strict control and also our partners over there know very well how it is. So it's not exactly the same when we are in our own place, which is very easy to have fully kosher, which by the way, only in Europe, there's uh, only a couple more fully kosher wineries, I think a couple in Italy, and that's it. All the rest in Europe are, co are kosher runs, 
part of the winery kosher, not fully kosher wineries, which is the case of the other four places where we are. Mm -hmm. Incredible. All right, David, thank you so much for taking the time to speak with us and for sharing this week's Wine of the Week. Thank you for having us.